Don't you start. Hi everybody, Larry Graves here. Welcome to my latest Paul McCartney album reviews. And it's been a while, and I do sort of apologize, but I get on a roll doing, you know, either comedy videos or food reviews, and it's kind of, I just need to take a break from, from reviewing Paul McCartney for a while, but I'm back. And, uh, so just be patient. I know some of you like my comedy videos, some of you like my food reviews, some of you just like the rock music vlogs. I can't please everybody. I can't even please this cat. Right? Now, Paul McCartney's Driving Rain. When it was released, it did not get as favorable reviews as Flaming Pie. And I don't think the fans liked it quite as much as Flaming Pie. Not that, not that it got bad reviews. I mean, I guess it did get a few bad reviews, but overall it was just like a good album by him. But you know what? I think it is as good as Flaming Pie. Possibly even better. I don't know. Now, the thing is with this, though, is it starts out so strongly. Did I say strong, strongly? I don't say strongly very often, so it sounds weird when I say it. It started off very strongly. And, uh, and I listened to it again last night, and by the last few songs, I just kind of lost interest, and I just couldn't. I kind of listened to a bit of them and then I skipped them. So I would love your thoughts on the last few songs. So I won't even be able to rate them, but I'll, I'll mention them here. So the first song is Lonely Road, and it is a classic as far as I'm concerned. Now this was after Paul's wife Linda had passed away. And I believe this song, Lonely Road, and, and some of the other songs are, are about her. So it's a very moving song, and I love the grit in his voice as, as the song comes go, goes along. And it's a 10 out of 10. From a lover to a friend, when, when I first heard the song, and I never bought this album when it came out of the CD. I just bought this in the last couple of years. But I did hear From a Lover to a Friend when it came out. And at first it was like, oh, here we go again, another sappy Paul McCartney song. But it grew on me, and I love it. The only thing is, I don't know if, if the song is directed at Linda or his, his uh, girlfriend at the time, uh, who I won't mention, Heather. <laughs> but it's a 10 out of 10. She's Given Up Talking is really quite different. Uh, that's all I can say. And I love the production of it. It's just pretty original, even for McCartney. It's a 10 out of 10. Driving Rain, now, this is the song where some people complained about the lyrics because it goes one, two, three, four, five, let's go for a drive. But I, it's just a fun song, a lighthearted song, and I don't mind lyrics like that for, for certain songs. I love the song. It's a 10 out of 10. I do, which I almost forget now, but listening last night, I really love the song. So it's a 10 out of 10, although right at this moment, I'm kind of forgetting what it sounded like. Tiny Bubble, another classic, and a real catchy number. Uh, 10 out of 10. Magic, a 10 out of 10. Paul is on a roll. I love these songs. Uh oh, now we're getting into trouble. Your Way, I don't even remember. Spinning on an Axis. From, from what I remember, they all, they're all good songs, but they just don't... They're just good songs. They don't stand out for me. About You, I don't really remember. Heather, I skip because of that 
that woman, I can't stand her. I mean, I'm sure Paul wasn't perfect in the marriage, but I just do not like the woman. And I don't think he performs Heather in concert these days. McCartney joke. You stay out of it. I don't care if you like her. Back in the sunshine again. It was, a, I remember, I think it was just like a nice song, but I can't even rate it. Your Loving Flame. I don't even remember. I, apo I apologize. Riding into Japar, is that how you pronounce it? That had a a uh, Indian kind of a flavor to it, from what I remember, kind of like a George Harrison sitar kind of a thing, and it was kind of cool, but I can't rate it. And Rinse the Raindrops, which I believe is mainly an instrumental, and I've always liked it. It's really been put down by, by some of the critics, but... Uh, I like it when he kind of just stretches out a little bit, and it's not the greatest song, but I really, really did enjoy it. I, I would give it at least an 8 out of 10, and de depending on my mood, maybe a 10 out of 10. So that's my review for uh, Driving Rain. Now, the next, the next albums of his coming up, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to rate all of the songs, and I will... Listen to this again, because I love the first few songs on this. I just have to take the time and patience and listen to the last few. So I'd love your thoughts on Driving Rain, especially the last few numbers that I didn't even rate. Thank you for watching, and thanks for your patience waiting for me to start up the series again. I'm on a roll now, so I'll have the next one in the next two two days or three days. Thanks for watching. Bye.